Good morning, everyone. My name is Mary Alberti, and I am the CEO of the Schizophrenia Society of Ontario. And we are very pleased to be here today in honor of Schizophrenia and Psychosis Awareness Day, both here in Ontario, across Canada, and around the world. We are also very pleased to be joining today with Toronto Police Services in their commitment to raise awareness and reduce the stigma associated with mental illness and in particularly schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is a treatable illness. It impacts one in 100 people, their families and our communities. Most at risk are our young people with the onset of schizophrenia occurring in the late teens and early 20s. Individuals living with schizophrenia face discrimination and social isolation because of the stigma and the fear that's associated with this illness. At the Schizophrenia Society of Ontario, we believe that the right supports and access to needed services like housing, medical, social, and community supports, individuals can have a great quality of life. Living with schizophrenia is not easy. Being feared and isolated is even harder. Our Toronto police and other police forces across Ontario have shown great initiative in learning and understanding about this illness and understanding what people face who are living with schizophrenia. By doing so, our police can better respond in times of need. And we are so proud that they have joined us today and we are joining them in wearing purple as you can see, and in celebrating Schizophrenia and Psychosis Awareness Day. The color purple is the color of hope. And at the Schizophrenia Society of Ontario, we're sending a very clear message today that if we all work together and we all become informed, we can reduce the stigma. So show us your purple today, if you don't have purple on, and show us that you want to make a difference. I, now it's my pleasure to introduce Deputy Chief Mike Federico. Thanks very much, Mary. Greetings, everyone. On behalf of Chief of Police William Blair and the over 8,000 women and men of the Toronto Police Service, we are pleased to support Schizophrenia Society of Ontario's National Schizophrenia and Psychosis Awareness Day, just as we support many other agencies that assist those members of our community who are affected by mental health issues or addictions. Community partners are critical to the way the Toronto Police Service helps make our neighbourhoods safe. For example, the Toronto Police Services Board Mental Health Committee engages partners across the spectrum of mental health, from consumer survivors to institutions to agencies and associations that support people with mental health issues in our community. These partnerships are vital in shaping the way the Toronto Police Service responds to those in crisis. The Schizophrenia Society has helped educate our officers about schizophrenia and how to respond to those affected by the affliction. And to date, over 800 members of our, of our uh, service, police officers, have received this education. The service is grateful for the work done by the Schizophrenia Society, and we will continue to support the society and others who helped those who are suffering from mental illness. Thank you very much, Mary. Thank you, Deputy Federico. It's my pleasure now to introduce a member of the Schizophrenia Society of Ontario and a young woman who lives with schizophrenia, Marie Asuncion. Good morning. I'm proud to support Schizophrenia Awareness Day. It is a passion of mine, and I'm willing to share my story to support this cause and to eliminate stigma one step at a time. My name is Maria Suncion, and I was diagnosed with schizophrenia at age 15. Now, at 27, I'm thriving. I graduated from the University of Toronto with a Bachelor in Music, ran the Van Ock 2010 Olympic Torch in Oshawa, have been teaching now for several years, and am living on my own. This illness does not define me. I reflect recovery, and I'm honoured to represent the Schizophrenia Society of Ontario. Please support the work of the Schizophrenia Society of Ontario and Schizophrenia Awareness, because without them, people like myself would never be able to know what it is like to feel fully recovered. Thank you. 
I'd just like to remind members of our community that the support for societies such as the Schizophrenia Society is so important in helping our community members uh, manage the challenges that they face in the community, and it is vital to help services like the Toronto Police Service deliver our, uh, our service to the community in a way that responds to the needs that, of our community members. So once again, thank you very much to the Schizophrenia Society for taking the initiative, and I urge everybody to proudly wear their purple ribbons. Thank you.